If you have PCOS and you are trying to conceive, then this video is absolutely for you because I'm going to share with you one of the ways that you can accurately tell if you are ovulating and when you will be ovulating with PCOS, which is going to shorten and make your journey to motherhood a little bit easier. I'm Taryn from PCOS Diet Support, and it's wonderful to have you on my channel and watching this video. Now, we know that PCOS is one of the leading causes of, it, of infertility in women with PCOS. About 25% of infertility problems in women are caused by PCOS. So that is a huge stat, okay? And it is something that so many of us struggle with. We, very often when we are adolescents or teenagers, and if our periods are not regular at that point, one of the main um, forms of treatment is very often the pill. We get prescribed the birth control pill. We are on the birth control pill for 10, 15 years until you're ready to start for a baby. You go off the pill and your cycle is irregular again. You get concerned, you get diagnosed with PCOS. Maybe that's just my story, but that's certainly what happened for me. Um, and so how do you know if you are ovulating with PCOS. The thing is that you can only get pregnant when you ovulate, okay? We need an egg to be released from the ovary in order to be fertilized, in order to get pregnant. So if we are not ovulating, we're not gonna get pregnant. Now, it's important to know when we are gonna ovulate because we can then time intercourse for around the time of ovulation, and that is gonna improve your chances of conceiving. So I'm going to link you to a video over here that I did recently that compared four different ways of telling if you are ovulating with PCOS. We looked at ovulation predictor kits. We looked at fertility tracking, which is basically taking your basal body temperature every morning. Um, and you can then see if you um, have ovulated. We spoke about the Ovusense, which is a fertility tracker. And we spoke about Mira. Now we're going to talk more about Mira in this video. And I'm going to show you exactly why I think that Mira is a really good option for you if you are trying to conceive. This is when you get the Mira, you will get, this is the Mira reader, the, or the analyzer, I think they call it. This is the wand, okay? And you get a couple of these cups. So you can't even see these cups, these cups. Okay, so this is obviously for collecting your urine. You collect your morning sample of urine, or if you haven't um, had any water for two hours, then you can collect that sample of urine. You dip the wand in. I think it goes this way. You dip the wand in for 10 seconds, let it soak up the urine. Then you move the lid to that way around and you stick it in your, your um, analyzer. It will take about 15 minutes to give you a reading. But that will tell you um, what your hormone levels. This is amazing because it gives you laboratory grade hormone level testing. Okay, so it is um, very accurate and very powerful. Now, the thing about Mira, it, there is also an app that will sync with your phone. And my app, I did it this morning. My app, for example, says mine looks like this at the moment. You can't really see this course it's not going to focus at all and I can't get my hand right okay but you can see vaguely that there's a two okay a two means it gives you a fertility score my fertility score is two I am not in my fertile period um but that score as you do as you um get nearer to ovulation that score will rise until you get a 10 when you're in 10 you know that that is your most fertile point now the thing about mirror is that it is very different. It is not just another ovulation predictor kit that you can go and buy off the shelves in your grocery store or your local pharmacy, okay? There is far more to it than that. The thing with regular standard ovulation predictor kits is that they measure for a hormone called luteinizing hormone. In women without PCOS, we would expect that luteinizing hormone would um, be fairly low at the beginning of the cycle and that it would spike just before ovulation and so the the ovulation predictor kits are looking for that spike now mira also looks at the spike but the problem in women with pcos is that our luteinizing hormone is generally high it is one of the hallmark um, hormonal profiles of a woman with pcos is this high luteinizing hormone so ovulation predictor kits are not accurate they will give you false positives a lot of the time so we cannot rely on them for telling us if we are going to be ovulating with PCOS. 
The thing with Mira is that it compares your hormones to your hormones, okay? So it looks for your specific baseline. That means that if you have PCOS and you have an elevated level of luteinizing hormone, Mira is going to compare each test to your specific baseline so that it can pick up when your luteinizing hormone raises even more so that you can ovulate. Okay, so that's really powerful. It is very personalized to you, which makes it um, really effective. Now, there are two kinds of mirror, okay? There is mirror fertility and there is mirror fertility plus. And there is a difference. Both of them will give you very good information, okay? Both of them are gonna compare your baseline to your baseline. So we're comparing apples with apples, okay? Which is a positive. The uh, mirror fertility plus will also look at estrogen levels. Now, what happens with estrogen is that estrogen spikes before luteinizing hormone spikes. So the difference here is that your ovulation predictor window is going to be much bigger. So your fertile window is going to be bigger. So if you're using mirror, um, mirror fertility plus, you're likely to get about six days of your fertile window. Okay, so mirror is going to predict much more time for your fertile window. If you just take the mirror fertility and you're only measure, measuring luteinizing hormone, that fertile window is about um, three days that it's going to be able to predict. Okay, so you're not going to get as big a fertile window, but you will still get an accurate fertile window. So what we said is that Mira Plus measures not only luteinizing hormone, it also measures estrogen. So again, it's very powerful. And you get the six day fertile window. But I know that you've got some questions because there are always questions when it comes to predicting ovulation in women with PCOS. And I've got some answers for you. Okay, my first question when I think about anything related to ovulating on a regular basis with PCOS is what happens if you have an irregular cycle? What happens if you are not ovulating regularly? Does that mean that you cannot use mirror? The answer is absolutely not. You absolutely can use mirror. Mirror sends you notifications on your phone telling you when you need to test. So based on your cycle, it will say, okay, Taryn, you need to test today, you need to test in four days time, whatever that um, might look like. But you will need only need about six of these fertility ones per cycle. Okay, so you are not going to be testing every single day. It is not something that you're going to be obsessing about every single day. You only test when your mirror app tells you that you need to test. And so you can absolutely still use it. Even if you only have two periods a year, you can still use the mirror fertility tracker and it will pick up when you are um, heading into your fertile window. Okay, the next question that, oh, and I think I've answered this one. The next question is how many tests you need per month because when you order Mira, you order, um, I think you, they come in packs of 20. I think there are a couple of options. Um, so you would want to know how many packs you would need to order. So you need to do about six tests a month on average. Your next question may be, well, how accurate is Mira? And because Mira is so sensitive, because it's testing um, because it's testing your baseline or your hormones against your specific baseline because it's so personalized and because you get lab grade results, mirror is very accurate. It is 99% uh, accurate in predicting and confirming ovulation. So you really can't go wrong with mirror. Now, before I give you the next thing, I do want to tell you that I am an affiliate with Mirror, which means that I do get a small um, incentive for recommending Mirror. But what I will say categorically is that I only will ever recommend products that I firmly believe in and that I use myself. I have PCOS. I know what it's like. Okay, I'm not trying to sell you on any miracle cures. Only the stuff that I really believe in and that, ha that has scientific backing or evidence behind it. So I do have a discount code for you for Mira. So if you go to pcosdietsupport.com forward slash Mira, you will get taken and this um, discount code will automatically applied, be applied to your, um, to your order. Um, so if you do want to order Mira, I really recommend that you use this discount code because obviously we all like to save some money. Um, but I really believe that if you are trying to conceive, that Mira is going to be a really helpful tool on your journey to conceive. 
Now, if you have used Mira yourself or you have any experience with Mira, I would really love for you to leave me a comment below. Let me know if you were able to conceive with Mira. I would love to celebrate with you. So leave me a comment below, let me know, and let's celebrate. And thank you so much for joining me in this video. I really appreciate you, and I will see you again in the next video.